Hang on a minute, hang on, we ain't got time for this nonsense. I've got to go and find my Crankshan handheld radio and get on the local net. They're testing the repeater. Well, I ain't got a clue where me blooming Crankshan's gone. It was here yesterday. Someone's moved it. Does anybody know where my Crankshan is? Anybody? God, I've been hunting high and low for this thing. I've looked every room in the house. I ain't got a clue where it's got to. Can't be that far away, surely. I've got to get on the net. Basically what it is, they've started a new repeater quite close to me. And they've arranged for guys to get on their handheld radios and call out this afternoon. Now, actually, now. I'm starting, started. I'm missing it. And I need to find my crankshan so I can call in and uh, give them a signal report. This has quickly turned into a pantomime. It's ridiculous. It's behind you. <laughs> ha ha, very funny. Oh yeah, I can see it. It was there all the time behind me. One a quang shan. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Where's the flipping aerial gone? That was on there yesterday as well. Someone's walked off and removed an antenna. I've got to go hunting for that now. Blooming time is getting on too much. Oh well, let's go and find the antenna. I could just wire this up to my outside antenna, but the uh, aim of the exercise is to see if we can get in handheld to this new repeater. Where's my crankshan? But I can't find my antenna anywhere. Nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. I'll tell you what, I'll go and borrow, I'll go and rob one from one of my other radios. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. I've got loads of old handhelds laying around. Look, it's four of them now. So, what have we got here? We've got a TOIT 380, the old Beofung, uh, another Beofung, and a BFDX, which is a uh, basically a little digital analog uh, system made by Connect Systems. Lovely underrated radio. Hang on a minute. Where's the rubber ducks gone? Where's all my aerials gone? Well, there is no reason for them to be missing. They're always on there. What is going on? Right, now come along enthusiastic. Think of something. I've got to think of something. What can I do? I need to get on and test this repeater. What can I do? God, there must be something. There must be something I can use to make an, make an, make an antenna. Hmm. Bananas. Bananas. I don't think anybody here missed one or two, were they? Some people say I'm a little bit on the crazy side. I just like to think I'm a little bit enthusiastic. But put it this way. We've got a banana. Look at that for a banana. There we go. It's not a bad drawing for a banana, is it? Wrong colour. So we've got our standard banana. Inside a banana, you have skins. That's a bad drawing, isn't it? We've got a banana skin. Well, if we were to cut the bottom of the banana off from an end profile, you would get a thick skin and a very moist centre. Now, a bit like a coax cable, really, isn't it? Uh, with the moist centre could be our replace our centre braid. The outer skin is a different consistency. I bet it's got a different impedance. That will act as our outer shield. If I get a banana roughly quarter wave on VHF, taking into account the velocity factor, the VF of a banana, whatever that may be, I look that up. And we might be on to a winner. So first thing to do is with this bunch of bananas, let's see what we got lengthwise. Very hard and uh, difficult to actually measure a, a banana in its entirety. It's about a six inch one there. That sounds promising. With the taking into account velocity factors, which is quite high on a banana, the, uh, that, that looks like a prime candidate. So we've got our prime candidate. Now to cut the end off, and measure the impedance. Right, we only need to take a small section off the end because this has got to go over the actual antenna socket. That will be about perfect. Right, out with the uh, trusty old multimeter and ready to measure the resistance. 
So here we go then. We'll get the banana. We're going to stick the center probe right in the center. And we're going to stick this one into the skin. Try not to pierce the, uh, the inner level. And let's see what we've got. Right, let's have a look then. So any guesses? What do you think the resistance or impedance is of a ripened banana? Wow, 50 ohms. Perfect. Now comes the difficult bit. There's the Quenshan. It's a flush mount. And the banana, well, I'm going to have to trim this back delicately. And then what my intentions are is to actually squash it over the top and in just enough for it to grip around that rim of that antenna connector. I reckon that will work. I've got to do it quite quick. As you can see, it's only been a few minutes and that edge is already drying out. So I need to cut this, trim it back a little bit before it dries a bit too much and just get it over there, let it dry. And the actual dry, when it just dries out, this will shrink a little and this will actually grip onto the crankshan. If I'm delicate with it, it should stay on there. And if all going well, I can get onto the repeater. Though I'm a little bit late. Right, I do need to support this. It's very, very delicate at the moment. But I did an experiment just now. And it was, as it dries, it does grip quite well. I've just trimmed it back a little bit more. But it is, it is working quite well. Some of the skin, as it folds back in, is actually touching the uh, outside of the uh, connector. And the moist bit in the middle is touching the inner bit. So this might actually work. Let's uh, give it a few minutes and I'll try it out on air. A Mike sits a whiskey, a Victor Victor, handheld portable. Access to the Collingwood repeater. Uh, two e zero R W. -E. Good afternoon to you. Yeah, unfortunately, I was uh, a bit otherwise tied up, but uh, just got free. Uh, just wanted to try it from my home location on a handheld radio, and you're coming through a signal six. Fantastic. Yeah, no problem, mate. Yeah, I'm on a handy too. So uh, that's not too on bad. On a banana. No. O G C two zero R W. -E. Yeah, 2 e 0 R W -E, Andy, good afternoon to you. And so you're coming through cracking signal, and uh, I'll catch up with you all very soon, hopefully. This is Mike Sitz, a Whiskey Victor Victor. I'm going to post the picture up on Solent in a little while. You wait to see what antenna I'm using on this uh, on this uh, Queen Chan. It may be, it may, uh, you may find it a little bit surprising. Mike Sitz, Whiskey Victor Victor, all clear. Yeah, all the best, of Andy. 73s. This is Mike Sitz, a Whiskey Victor Victor, also clear. There you go, that worked. Wow, that's even surprised me. Enthusiastic Steve. I've done some strange things, made ladder a ladder antennas and talked to America. But a banana, a banana as an antenna? Who would have thought it? This now opens up a whole new world. Might have to try a cucumber or strawberries or a Yagi banana antenna. There you go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I uh, hope you're going to give it a go yourself. Give it a try. See if it works. I say, and if it doesn't, you get a nice smelling uh, Crankshan radio for a few weeks. So this has been Enthusiastic Steve. <laughs> uh, all the very best here. And uh, if you like my videos, uh, have a look at the other ones. Uh, the, all, the, all the mad up ones I've done and the reviews I've done on the rest of my channel. Uh, think about subscribing. Uh, give us a thumbs up, etc. Helps grow my channel. So 73s, everybody, and a big thank you for Andy in the video for coming back to my call. Uh, fantastic. It wouldn't have worked without you, Andy, but um, I'm just glad you were still there, even though I was running late calling into the repeater. So all the very best, and all the best to all the repeater keepers out there, because they do a fantastic job. Um, you know, we don't always appreciate how much hard work goes into running repeaters. So a big thumbs up to all the repeater owners and runners, maintainers. This is Enthusiastic Steve. Whew. Mind blown again. All the very best. Bye bye for now. Oh, hang on, there's one more thing. Whatever happened to all those rubber duck antennas? I never did find them. <laughs>